guys, it's Rox14, we're playing Terraria. Um, I got some, um, you know, this is my first time, I'm not gonna be doing, or maybe do it later, but for right now I'm not gonna be doing a Let's Play, cause, um, there's just a whole bunch of stuff going on, but, what I will do, is I will go fight the Golem. Now, if you wanna get the Golem, you have to fight Plantera, and that's only after you defeat the Wall of Flesh. Uh, but yeah, uh, right now, I have the Spectre Armor with the, um, the Mana Flower, I have the uh, Ghost Wings, the, um, Cobalt Shield, and I actually made this after, but you don't need this, I would recommend the Avenger Emblem, but if you do have the Ink, uh, the Destroy Emblem, that's good. Oops. Sorry guys, let me just move that. And... Let's do this. Oh wait, that's right, I have to get the thing. Oh yeah, you also need these lizard power cells. Oh, and after Plantera dies, she'll drop an item, the jungle temple key. And that can be used to make, like, other keys so you can open uh, stuff in the hard mode dungeon. But, um, it can also be used to open the lizard temple, which also contains the golem. You just have to use the altar. Now, what I'm using, you can get it right after you beat Plantera, but mainly I'm just going to be using, uh, the mass, um, my Magnet Spear, and it's really helpful when you're fighting him. And especially if you haven't already, you should probably get the Spectre Armor. It's really going to help you out. Uh... Okay, come on. We yeah, also have some greater healing potions on you because when you do find, you probably are going to want that. He will not mess around. He will wreck your stuff really badly. It took me, it actually took, did take me a while to finally beat him because I was using hollowed armor. And I learned that doesn't really go well. And if you're going to want to beat him, if you're a mage, you're gonna want to get um some spectre armor. The turtle arm. Um, I also recommend if you're a warrior, turtle armor would probably be the way to go. I know most of these stuff, so there's not a lot of traps here, except for the spikes. Also, the temple's half flooded, so yeah, there's that. Also, if you run, cause if you run out of lizard temple, uh, I mean lizard power cells, they'll, um, if you just kill a lot of lizards, they'll drop some. And yeah. And so, my strategy was, I took a lot of the, um, I had a lot of, um, campfires, but they all died, but it won't matter. Anyways, all you have to do is just tap on it, and yeah, just keep, um, like, Keep your distance, you don't want to stay too close, but at the same time, like, keep hitting him with stuff. Remember to stay by the campfire. Come on. Ugh. Yeah, it's really, it's relatively easy. Come on, come on, come on. Also, um, you, in order to make the Spectre Armor, you're probably going to need the, um, uh, the Pickaxe Axe because you won't get the, uh, Picks on until you defeat the Golem and he only has a small chance of dropping it. But, um, it will help you mine Chlorophyte and you need that in order to get the Spectre Armor. That's how I'm able to heal while using Magic Attacks. It's really useful, but, um... And you'll also need ectoplasm from the hardcore dungeon. It's probably gonna really help you out. I got I'm I'm not gonna lie, I actually got like really used to having the um having the Spectre armor because um every time I use the other armor, I always end up dying. And it's it's honestly quite sad, but, you know. Come on, come on, come on, 
Uh, after you defeat the golem, the golem's head, he'll do like he'll go into his second phase, and he'll just bombard you with lasers, and his head will fly around. And it's really ugh. It's really annoying. I'm just trying to. I'm not even. Well, I did actually summon him, so yeah, he'll go into this stage. And what you want to do is you just want to keep hitting him, and he'll eventually go down. Oh no! Oh no! I ran out of mana stars. Or mana. Oh crap! All right, I'm gonna have to conserve these now. This is where your greater put. Oh! I won. You get the Stagner. Um. He'll also have a. Um. He'll drop, like. Um. He'll also drop the Pixel, which is what I have right here. It, um. It's able to mine this stuff, and you can't mine this stuff uh, until you get this. But also, you get this, and it's, um. It just. It shoots a lot of, um. It doesn't shoot a lot of it, just shoots uh, explosive bullets, so I'll show you right now. It's really cool. And, uh, yeah, all the other stuff you just get from other bosses. Oh, and he'll also drop Beetle Husk, and if you made a full set of turtle armor, you can get the, uh, the Beetle armor. And it's ten times more powerful, I think, like... The final, like, your defense when you get full beetle armor is, like, 85. And that's just, like, a major jump. But, uh, yeah. So, remember, Magnet Spear, and also get a few, uh, mana potions, because you're gonna want that when you're fighting. It Well, if you're using the magic armor. If you're using, uh, just... Maybe you're using just the, uh, like, if you want to be a warrior, I recommend... Going with the uh, uh I can't, I'm blanking right now. I would recommend going with True Excalibur or Knight's Edge. True Knight's Edge. Um, also, I would recommend if you're um, a ranger, go with the um, you know, go with the grenade launcher because that really does a lot of damage. But if you're a source, um, if you like minions. I recommend the Optic Staff and the Pygmy if you have him, but uh, the Pirate, have him for on ground. You might want to just have all of them, because uh, one needs to be on ground and two need to be in the air. But uh, yeah, anyways, that's the Golem, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Well, if I do something, I might need help fighting Duke Fishron, but if we are doing another video, that's what we'll be doing. So uh, yeah, see you.